Autoblock has been unbanned. We won! <laughs> sorry, sorry, I got my voice there. You know what I'm saying? Um, my permanent bans have now turned to a temporary ban. There it is. And uh, all I can really say is it's W's all around the board. It They're is. investigating Ma, Trident, and Stella. They're investigating the correlation, what's happening with Trident, they and should. they're going to see what they're going to be doing. And obviously, they're going to inform us. They made a post that will be shown throughout this video. Other than I, that... I, I want to say, too, that, you know, temper your expectations in terms of them expressing a lot of the details of the investigation. The way I would look at it, if Trident stays on the team, he didn't do anything. If Trident didn't stay on the team, he did something. They're not going to go and explain, oh, we saw this message that said this thing, and he's guilty of this, that, and the other thing. Boys, not gonna W's all across the board. I love all of you! Hell yes! Now, everybody, real quick. I don't want you guys to be spreading hate or like, oh, screw that company! <laughs> Sorry, but you know what I mean, right? Let's not do any harassment. No disrespect. There's a lot of Jagex staff that yeah, actually yeah. helped me. No, I mean, you already won. Why get mad? Why, why talk shit? You already won. It's over. We're respectful throughout this whole thing. So if you guys can, no hate, no BS, you know, let's keep it clean, professional. I'll be showing this email on the yeah, screen. Yeah, I also think that's like super cringe to like shit on other Jagex employees. They probably don't have any, like, what the fuck do they know about this? So if anybody has any further evidence so we can help with the investigation, yeah. please send it here. Other than that, my brothers, that is all. Regarding visa allegations. Many of you have seen the community videos with allegations around the Jagex employee yep. and suspended bias and account them. banning. We take those allegations extremely serious, and there's a formal eternal investigation underway using the evidence provided. To protect confidentially, we will not share the specifics of the investigation. So let me tell you what this means. That means that our evidence, our work, and everything that we've put out and shown is being looked at now. So what do we yeah. say to that? And okay, I truly believe that all the evidence that we've gathered and showcased is enough to fire Trident. I know that's kind of asshole of me to say. No, it, it, it's, it's obvious. It, it, it's, it's just plainly obvious. I, I, I cannot imagine a world where he stays on the team. But that man does not deserve, his corrupted mm -hmm. ass does not deserve to be working at Gegek. In February, similar claims were brought to our attention and a formal investigation was carried out. Based on the evidence available to us at that time, the investigation did not substantiate the claims. However, since new information has been brought to our attention, we have opened a new investigation. There it is. Much of the evidence provided exists out of the game, which means that the investigation will be more complex and we will need time to review the information provided carefully. We yeah, I've said before, this is probably going to take them months to do. This is, this is very complex. Ask for your patience while this is carried out and we'll update you once concluded. All right, all right. But like, but boys, we have, we won the battle, but we didn't win the what? We didn't win the war. The war. You know, I, I really hope they make the right decision here in terms of Trident. Separately, last week, yeah, sure. we banned over 100 accounts for the use of account services. You can read more about this on the rules of RuneScape in the following yeah, news yeah, post. Yeah. We could confirm that thoroughly independent checks have been made, and these bans are correct and have been upheld. By the way, I, ju I would just like to state, I've never did account services on Omar. I just want to state that out there. Voila, I've never ever, in terms of paying somebody to do in a service i've never done that at omar let me specify that real quick i've never yes, paid true. somebody to yeah. do any service on my omar account that's what i'm trying to imply so Oda, was it free i I, th I think it's very fair to say this guy is probably the best definition of an imperfect victim that you could ever have where like the guy's super abrasive he's really loud he's confrontational you know he's that kind of a guy but and also, he had cheated on other accounts, but like, it's like that one didn't cheat on the main account. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Like, I, I don't really think it matters at the end of the day. It doesn't really matter whenever you see all the evidence that's against the guy that actually works at the company. Dog and Dami and Corey, shout out to you guys. I love you. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And guess what? If it was free, it's still not bannable. You know why? Because they specified that account services is only bannable when you pay for the transaction. Sit down. 
through well-star investigations are ongoing, we have opted to change the duration to temporary. Should repeat offenses occur, permanent bans will be applied to the accounts involved. So it looks like a lot of other people got a temp banned as well. Um, Dami already told me that his account was temp. I, I don't know. I don't know if everybody got permed. I highly doubt it because I heard a lot of people got tempted. Please remain respectful to everyone involved in these issues. We do not tolerate harassment to any of our players or staff or request it to the publicly share your life information of players and staff alike. If you have any additional evidence that may aid our investigations, please send it directly to tipoff at jagex.com so it can be included as a part of our investigations, the old school team. Now, let me tell you something. This is a minor W. I'm happy about Jagex's decision on the temporary ban. Can't be mad about that. Sure. What I can be, uh, you know, iffy about is uh, the main point here is about the Trident and Stella bullshit. I hope, I, I really, I, uh, this is an ammeaner, I feel like. I really hope they take action, to be honest. Like, I know this is kind of asshole of me to say, but to take Trident's ass out. I'm, I'm, I, know, I know that's asshole of me to say. So, almost no, it's, it's not at all. I mean, like, it, it might sound bad. Oh, somebody should lose their job. Yeah, somebody should lose their job for being fucking corrupt. Yes. No shit. Absolutely. It's not even a question. I will be unbanned by next week. Shout out to the Gegex that actually helped me. And uh, you know what? Ma try to empty, you know? Uh, we don't like uh -huh. your corruption. Hopefully you get what you deserve. And that's all I could really say about that. Funny how Stella tried to remove you from the scene, but ruined herself and tried it. Thing is, I don't know... I think you guys could all agree. That's what you get. I don't know why they just didn't keep this underground and just keep, you know, abusing Trident. It's ego. That's why. Because people like that are used to getting their way. They're used to being told that they're right. They're used to being, you know, the one that gets treated differently. That's why. It's because you go through your whole life and you have a massive ego. You think that you're always going to get your way. So you just think you're going to get your way. That's it. Privilege ego. Yeah, it, it's just that's unironically what it is. It's power and Stella, what she had going on on the low. I don't know that, why they would attack me. That was very stupid by them because I venged. I was prevenged. I had Ring of Recoil on. Um, we're going to go ahead and react to a lot of things that happened overnight and yesterday. So we're going to just go ahead and start from this. Better. Um, also, uh, yeah, I, I, by the way, I, I totally support him. Like, I totally support him. Uh, like, I... I, I did say absolutely. that. Uh, even with, like, the, the perma ban and, and everything like that, uh, like, maybe he should be perma maybe not. I think that's a, this is a separate decision. But it should not be a decision that was made by anybody near Trident. And I think Trident should not only be removed better. Wait, let me see what he said. Oh, he's going to like this. Also, uh, yeah, I, I by the way, I, I totally support him. Like I totally yeah, he's gonna like this part. Not only be removed from oh, the company, yeah. but I think the company should seek legal action against him as a public method and measure to show that they are taking action yeah, distance against themselves. obvious corruption and uh, massive breaches of integrity. Wow. Wow! Yep. What? This guy's a huge streamer too. Like this guy's like a huge YouTuber streamer. You know? Like, like, this is, like, you know what I'm saying? This guy's huge, though. Like, this is Asman. Everybody respects Asman. Oh, I don't know about that. Stella actually Fods told me that Stella actually followed my, my stream an hour ago. <clears throat> Look at that. Uh-oh. So she watched the video. Yeah. You know, you know what's crazy, by the way? I swear to God, I'm not lying. I don't know if it's right after this or anybody has a clip, but Asman looked in the camera and he went, by the way, if you want to say your side of the story, we could do that. But just know, I'm going to be getting all my information off stream. I'm going yep. to be prepared to ask you questions that you can't ask, answer. And I'm going to be prepared to, you know, have all yeah, this evidence against you. So if you still want to do this interview, let me know. And let me just say this. She will 100% not interview with him yeah. because she has scamming evidence everywhere, bro. She is really an S-tier scammer, bro. Actually, I would say F-tier from how yeah, many... because she got caught. She will not take up on his offer. She's going to be like, not. Nah, you know, I'll stay back. Just Stella, Stella, just know this. You, you, you will not win. You will not win against what this guy has against you. And you are 100% not going to do the interview because you know how much you've scammed and you know how many loopholes are in your plots. He's going to be looking at everything and you're going to get fucked. Yeah. Duh. No shit. 
can she have this information a day before my ban? But then Jagex comes and tells me they can't give information about an ongoing investigation. Well, that's no good. So unless another Jagex mod is telling Stella inside information, it must be tried. Sorry, it's quiet. Now, is there another member of the anti-cheat team giving Stella this information? I think it's much more likely that the person she has a romantic relationship with is giving her that information. That's just general stuff. I, I would agree with you that that's just general stuff, but at least according to this, this was the day before he actually got banned and the people there also got banned. That timing is not a coincidence when she is dating the head of these bands. That y yeah, it's fucking obvious. Y yeah. Duh. That's, uh, that, that's not a coincidence. No shot. Sit down. You know? Sit down. That's all I gotta say. Who's Nick? This is such a massive... Like, again, dude, if this happened at EA or Blizzard... Everybody would be talking about it. This is like re like on a scale of like corruption. This is at basically the highest level. Somebody is in a relationship with an employee and the employee is banning people at the request of the person that they're in a relationship with. This is super fucking bad. Like this is like honestly it's pretty if bad. I was them I would probably pursue legal action against Trident. Uh, against Trident. Westman, 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 Westman. See, like we we can all agree that this is like as long as it was that. The last thing you sold. Oh, it's not even a question. Yeah, in, in my mind, yeah. Thank you, by the way. Um, uh, it, it it's not even a question, bro. <laughs> How, how do you even ask, like, oh, maybe is this true? Is this not true? It's obviously fucking true. She obviously is doing it. And again, like, if this was a major American company that had, like, a big reputation, as a lot of them do for being bad, this would be mainstream gaming news for the next week or maybe month. It's massive. It's about exactly 1 billion GP of gold. Stella is still managing to sell GP in increments every single day or every few days. Yeah. And getting money from that, that Bitcoin. That is interesting. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> that sure is. I don't know why, but Moist actually reminds me of like Keanu Reeves, you know? He's like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he actually kind of looks like him too. After reading through all this, Jagex should not only fire Trident, but conduct an internal investigation to discover the extent of corruption followed by a lawsuit against him. If, employee, if an employee of EA or Blizzard or Riot did what he did, it would be mainstream news. You dirty dog, sexy bastard. I swear to God, you're not bolding. Wow. <laughs> well, stop the camp. All right, he's bolding a little bit. Jagex yeah. banned my star miner with 1 million stardust, star miner free to play. And then Mod Twister replied, this player was using an unauthorized client, by the way. I don't know. I don't know what this is, but it looks like a lot of shit is coming out. Like, I even, like, I, I'm pretty sure Dami got sent a video of a guy that went to Jagex headquarters and said, Excuse me, sir, my band was full. So he was talking to Mod Ash, like, to his face. No, she wasn't because she got unbanned. Oh, so she did get unbanned. So it was a false ban. I'm flashing. Damn, 1.3k upvotes in six hours? That's crazy. I'm not. And this is the thing is that even if they're right, and, and I want to go ahead and explain how that, like, how the Trident situation is so corrosive. Because now every single person that gets banned, there's going to be a massive question in the minds of everybody who hears about it. Is this another fucking Autoblock situation? Is this another Trident situation? And the entire integrity of the company is in the shitter. And that's why I think they need to pursue actual action against them. Because if you don't do that, not only do you set an example that you can do something like this and there's no accountability for it, but you also sh set an example to your community that, yeah, if we catch somebody doing this, it's going to be bad. But if we don't catch them, it's whatever. So, yeah, they have to make an example out of them. Exactly. They have to. Because, again, and think about how much this damages the credibility of this company. Like, I don't know how much money this company's worth, but if it's an expensive company, it's got, I don't know, like a, a nine or a ten figure uh, net worth on it. Or not nine or ten, but like, you know, eight or nine figure company. Uh, I, I think absolutely this could have cost them potentially a million dollars, 500 plus million dollars. Jagex is big. Yeah, I, I think that this probably like, I would say that this situation probably cost them over a million dollars. I'm not even kidding. 
in terms of like the the damage that it does to their brand and their reputation it, and this is like starting in a million like you want to say five million ten million i don't know but at least a million dollars in what way sure so number one every single time that they make any announcement about any uh like damaging somebody's reputation is not always something that you can prove numerically now, obviously, you can prove it on a longitudinal level like you could with Blizzard, for example, from like now versus 2020. But whenever you're talking about whenever you're talking about a, uh, a company that has really bad publicity at the beginning, it might be hard to, to determine. But I think that whenever you have a community that is automatically assuming that you're lying, they're assuming that you're scamming, you have people in the company that were not dealt with properly for doing that, this obviously undermines the integrity and the trust in the company. And in a video game where the integrity of the game is extremely important and it's a value that that game provides, then if that value is compromised by an individual, the value of the game is compromised. You see, it on, you, you see how these things fit together. So whenever somebody does something that destroys the reputation of a company, they damage that entire company. Yeah, like Blizzard. Uh, I think there's, uh, there's probably other examples I could use too. I'm not going to lie. That's crazy. Damn, that was a false band. What's up? Oh my god, Mo's wearing full black mystique. Look at that, look at his mage bonus. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh yeah, I just wanted to show you, if you go back to that Reddit post, um, I've actually never seen that before. That, that, that ad mystique thing, I've never seen that in the mod. This is that negative, I don't know if you saw it, like, negative. No, negative negative 2000. Oh my god, yeah. I've never seen that. That's a negative sign. Yeah. <laughs> I thought they were gassing him up. Wait, chat. He got negative upvote. <laughs> And that's why. How much do you want to bet if this Trident situation didn't happen, that number would be smaller. And you are naive to think that that number does not represent some form of trust or accountability or integrity that the company represents. Like, like that means like so many people like didn't Massive. fuck with the, the J mod said that he's in the negative. My brothers and sisters of the chat. I know a lot of people up, probably, yeah. you know, got oh, treated it's tips poorly, and, and you know, there's probably Holy people shit. that got false banned that don't have a platform yeah, or a loud knows. voice. Well, guess what, boys? Now that we put a pressure on Jagex mm -hmm. and Gagex, and we put that pressure on Trident and Stella, maybe something different can happen now. We're all going to try to stop this corruption. We may have won the battle today, but we have not won the war. The war still continues. Hopefully, Jagex deals with Trident accordingly. And stuff are gonna change. Mm -hmm. Oda, why are you still happy with a temp band? I thought you wouldn't even take a warning. Why would I not take this minor W? Are you stupid? They were not budging for a it, week. It's it, it it's just logical. For keeping me perm banned for when I told them I've never made a tra transaction ever to account servicing. Why would I not be happy about a temp? Are you stupid, bro? People think that because I'm like happy about the temp that I should be like, oh. Oh, does that mean you did do it? Shut up! No, that is a huge W. I will, I will hella take that. I literally told him multiple times, I've never ever paid uh, uh, a transaction on account servicing on that account, ever. They probably don't want to undo an action that they did because it makes them look bad. Like, it, again, it puts them in a really bad position in this way too. If you find one uh, transaction, you could keep me perm forever. They won't find one because I never did. Well, Somebody just no, gave 76 70. subs yeah. on kick right now. That's like at least $400 that he just gave for your speech. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much for that. We do appreciate it. But you know, it's serious. That, this one here, you have to be proud for your community. You, nobody have some community like you stand behind him. You know what I'm saying? You, that's, that's really, 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 really something to be proud of from it. You know what I'm saying? It's not, your community is not for money. It's not behind you for money. If it's behind you for money or you're behind you for the money, they will go easy. But you are like family with them. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You are like a family. When you are built your community as a family, it's very hard to destroy it. No, they will stay stronger and stronger and stronger. That's why when they stand behind you, nobody can do anything for you. Even if they ban you, even whatever they do, if your community behind you, you are the winner still. You understand what I'm saying? Yep. I think that's generally true. Also, I think that even if the community wasn't behind him, he still would have come out ahead with this. It doesn't take a genius to look at this situation and see how obviously wrong it is.
You don't have to be a wizard or a fucking lawyer to see, you know, a guy's girlfriend that works at the company making statements about who's going to get banned, then they get banned the next day. You know, it doesn't take a genius to put two on top of two there, does it? So he goes, he says this, much love to the many content creators who spoke up and defended my name. I'm lastly very appreciative to my community who spread the like wildfire and let the right eye see this. Like I said many times, guys, please be respectful. Don't spread the hate to any of the staff or the people involved. No, they won't need it. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. It's not even standing behind him. It's getting rid of rotten devs and staff. Yeah, uh, I think that, again, like, there's... People hate this shit. People absolutely fucking hate this shit. Especially in video games, and especially whenever it's some girl who thinks that she's above the rules because she's dating a guy. It's just like, everybody fucking hates this so much. So it is no surprise that, like, everybody stood up and was like, yeah, fuck this. Like, nobody wants to deal with this. Absolutely not. So, yeah, as I said, totally support him. Uh, I really hope Jagex is able to hold the guy accountable. I think that they should do so in the most draconian way possible to show that this is not something that they're okay with and to distance themselves from a company uh, from this controversy. This is a massive controversy. It will probably cost them uh, longitudinally, like in terms of the years in the past. Like two years from now, people are going to bring this up whenever somebody gets banned. They're going to bring this up. And it's going to hurt their reputation. And it's because of this guy right here. That's why. So, yeah, I, I think that you, they should absolutely prosecute him, do whatever they can. 100 fucking percent. So, yeah, uh, Ryan Man did cancel my sub. Yep, there are probably people that canceled their sub, etc. So, yeah, I really hope that they're able to uh, to do this properly and, and make the right decision.